What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, check out my two youngins. The one in the back is Luke Arrington, he's my seven year old. And the one in the front is Jake Arrington, he's my 12 year old. I got one more though. Redneck, that's my seven year old Jack Russell. We are out here off of Stewart, Florida, right here in the intercoastal waterway. Right out there is the ocean. A couple sandbars right here. There's one right there, one beyond it where everybody goes and hangs out during the weekend. Got a long one right here that we love to go to and cook. Look how beautiful the water is though. Right now I've got the boys in here around these docks in the seawall looking for a smaller lionfish that we can put in our fish tank. But unfortunately we waited too long to come out today and look at this massive storm coming. We're not in danger though because we can go up inside that island and seek refuge or we can go on the back side of that island and seek refuge and be out of the wind and the lightning and all of that. Have you seen any lionfish? So today is an interesting day. You see that watermelon? I've seen these videos on YouTube and on Instagram of people putting hundreds of rubber bands on a watermelon to see how many it takes to make that watermelon explode. We're going to do that today right here in this video, along with hopefully finding a lionfish, going to let the kids fish, going to let Redneck play. We're just having a good old day. It's Sunday, the kids go back to school tomorrow. We're out here just living life to our fullest. Have y'all not seen any lionfish? What? Luke, have you seen one? I saw a couple anchors or something. Redneck, have you seen any? All right, y'all get in and we'll go to the next location and try to find one. There's a whole bunch of weird fish. If you've never brought your kids out and done something like what we're doing right now, you're missing out. You can do it on a canoe, a paddleboard, a kayak. The water in Jupiter and Stewart and Palm Beach is so amazingly clear on incoming tide. I highly recommend it. It's it's just a great way. It's like taking the kids to an aquarium, but you don't have to have a tour guide. You can come do it yourself. So I'm gonna power pole up and we're gonna go look for some lionfish. So we ended up moving all the way over to the east side of the intercoastal and the kids are in hot pursuit. Luke, what'd you find? It's a little hook or something. A fishing hook? Make sure you don't get tangled up in that line. Right here, the current's coming around this point and creating an eddy right here so the kids don't have to fight the current at all because it's actually sucking them around like a toilet, actually. But they're not in fear of getting jerked down. That's the cool thing about spot lock. This trolling motor will hold me right where I need to be. What do you got, Jake? Come over here and throw it in the boat so a bird don't get tangled up in it. Yeah. We'll keep that wire. Dad, look at this hook. You got a hook? Let me see. Awesome. Here, take it. Throw it. Perfect throw. Luke, have you seen a lionfish or a lobster? Look at this show. I, I found it a little bit ago. I know these storms are looking nasty. Now they go from like Palm Beach all the way down to North, the heck, all the way down to Fort Pierce. But fortunately, they're staying inshore. They haven't pushed over here to where we're at. Fingers crossed they don't come. Sea cucumber. This thing feels so weird. I know. Stop. Have a go put it back. That one's huge. Oh man, that's the biggest hermit crab I've ever seen. I've seen at least seven sea cucumbers. They're everywhere here. Here, Dad. Bring it to me. We can put this in the fish tank. Look how big he is. You wouldn't want to get bit by him. Oh. Hello. How are you? Hello. All right, buddy, you can go free. What do you think about that, Redneck? Oh, it's not cold now. 
All right, swim over there to those rocks. These two boys are scared to death of deep, dirty water. I don't blame them. I was the same way when I was young. Big, something big just swam out of that inlet. Big, huge shadow. I don't know what it was. Let's see if my glasses help out at all. I definitely need to get a polarized lens for this GoPro. You would think that there would be lionfish down around those rocks, for sure. Water's really starting to milk up now that the tide's going out. What is it? A barracuda? Neat little lagoon right here. Luke will definitely find something interesting in here. Oh, there's a barracuda right there. Let's see. See him right underneath the surface? That barracuda's in here eating these little baits. Nick, you see all those minnows? Y'all haven't seen any lionfish? I'm going to give you the underwater GoPro so you can film a little bit and let the folks at home see what you're seeing. It's like you're at the tackle shop. You're finding so much tackle. This is oh, yeah, that's a good bait right there. Nice shad. Redneck. You can't eat the hook, son. Let's see what There's Jake's a looking at. Fish right here. There's a puffer fish. I'm telling you, if you ever get a chance to go buy some decent snorkeling gear for your kids and bring them out here to do this, or if you're an adult that's never seen this type of stuff, I do recommend though getting good, good mask and good fins. Clear mask from Walgreens or CVS do not work really well. Get a dark silicone mask, a good pair of fins, you'll never regret it because it's free. And the dive gear is not free, but coming and doing this is free and you can do it all over the place from Miami really all the way down to Fort Pierce so water's that clear on incoming tide so I highly recommend it These two boys have seen something We oh, saw an old cash register A like, cash register? It looks like an old cash register See what's on the Luke pick it up and bring it over here to me It's too heavy For real there could be treasure in it Get, get your mask on it and come it down here with us Holy mackerel. Get, get the mask. Well, I'm trying to stay in the boat to make sure you two are safe. They've convinced me to get in, so now I gotta see for myself. You goofballs, it's empty. But we still have it. I'm open the other side. It's hollow. I thought y'all found some serious treasure and we weren't going to have to work anymore. Redneck, I'm sorry I made you nervous by leaving. These goofballs convinced me that there was treasure down there. I was thinking, yep, I'm never going to have to work again for the rest of my life. But guys, we still haven't opened the other Luke's side. Luke's still convinced that we haven't opened the entire box. Lukey, I promise you, I made sure there was nothing in there. It was the lid to something. It looked like a like a battery box or something. I don't know what it was. This storm is steadily creeping on us. Why don't we go to the beach and let Rennet run around? I think that's what we should do right now. Because that storm really is getting a lot closer now. Yeah, 
and Rennick and starving that can run around. Right we'll take them right now. Okay, who's ready to see this challenge? Scoot over a little bit. We've got brown rubber bands. We've got red, yellow, blue. We've got thicker rubber bands, thinner rubber bands, and we're gonna just start putting them on. Come on, boys. I got a big one. No, you gotta do one at a time, because they're too, it's too hard to get multiples. Yeah, what about on a Just grab you one rubber band at a time. No, I, got I just broke one. All right, grab one at a time. How many do you think it's gonna take, Jake? Well, I think. You gotta get them all the way down, Luke. About. I've seen people do do this. On I'm gonna go with some thin ones. I've seen people. Come on, boys! This is gonna take forever if we don't hurry. Yeah. If you guys haven't checked out one of our recent videos where we took rifles and we shot fruit, you need to go check it out because it's an awesome video and it's totally different than what we're used to doing. So right now I think we're at 50 rubber bands. Right now I just found a big one. Big one might do too. You gotta stretch it out really wide and put it all the way down. I think the little rubber bands are gonna squeeze a lot tighter and it's gonna... Come on Luke, this, what you waiting on? We gotta pick all these rubber chain. bands up. Well go get in the water. Me and Jake will do it. We're tough. All the way down. All right, come on. Keep her going. It's not even squishing right now. That's the crazy part. I thought we would already have a squishy effect going. I've seen people do this on YouTube and it, and it took them like 900. This is a good Keep going. watermelon too to do it. I'm trying to do about 10 to Luke's one just to speed it up some. It's so hard. How many are we at right now? We're at one. at least 150. No, well, dang, we're putting a lot of rubber bands on. We've been doing this for like five minutes. I think the theory is the more bands you put, the tighter they get because of the density of it. So. We just got to keep going. Don't let any rubber bands get in the water. If they get in the water, you got to jump in there. I'm already in the water. I don't see it. It's not even like concaving side, at all. On this side a little bit, you can see a little compression. How many do we got on it? A bunch. We got fans driving by. So, so far we got enough rubber bands to be at least uh I think we have enough rubber bands to do it. We just we're gonna have to put way more than I thought. If we get a littler one, it's so then far it we got exploded. at least like one little spear gun band on it so far. Yeah, if we get the littler one, then we get it. Alright, here, hold this. Let's dig our hole deeper. Yeah. So our watermelon don't move as much. Oh, this gives me anxiety. I don't know if it was like this before, but on the side right here, it sort of looks. Thank you. All right, keep going. I'd have been here all day doing this by myself. I think I just heard it pop a little bit. They say when it explodes, it explodes really bad. Dad, you need to stand back in an, in an hour or so. I'm going to have to get a shirt on. He's, he's you're like... going to be covered with, with it. I remember when I was young, when the mailman would come, we would always go out there and ask him for rubber bands so we could have rubber band wars. <laughs> Leave a comment below if you did that when you were young. Oh, it's definitely, oh, no. definitely concave now. You can see right here, it's definitely getting concaved. On this side, you. Mm. All right, let's keep going. We're at at least 400 rubber bands right now. It seriously might take all the rubber bands we have. I, I don't think so. I think, like, I'm going to start doing doubles now. 
I've been doing three and four at a time. Oh gosh, when you said that, get back. when you said that, I about had a heart attack. I hope you all are enjoying watching this because it's pretty entertaining for us doing it. Maybe for you. I want to like have a heart attack. It's gonna blow up in the rubber bands. It is not far from going. I can tell you that. I hope the rubber bands don't break. They just squeeze in and then we're done. Get everything ready. This GoPro keeps turning off. Hold on. Maybe it's overheating. All right, we've had to switch over to my phone because the GoPro is overheating. That is one thing bad about the GoPro 9s and 10s is they overheat if you're not in the water or in the shade. Come on, Jake, take it in double time. Fast we can. It's starting to look like a like two watermelons. One on the top and one on the bottom. Ah. Uh-oh. It just made some noise. Oh, Uh-oh, it just made some noise. Oh my goodness. Dude, it just exploded. Oh, <laughs> that was insane. Jake, <laughs> that was so cool. Look. It straight exploded. I would have never thought it was gonna do. Where's the rubber bands that were on it? Right here. They're like under the sand. No. <laughs> you guys look, they all landed over here in this tree. The reason I use colored rubber bands is so I could find them all. That's how many it took. Dude, that was awesome. I don't know if you guys can see or not, but I got watermelon all of my glasses all over me. That was something serious. Luke didn't bring a hat today, so we made him one. There Put that go. hat on, Luke. <laughs> Come here, Luke, let me see your new hat. Look at me. Let go. <laughs> here, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now you got you a watermelon hat. That was one of the funnier things we've ever done, Jake. Yeah. All right, let's pick up this mess. Look at it. We got rubber bands everywhere, but we will not leave one rubber band behind. How about this watermelon? Is it any good? Yeah. Yeah, why don't we eat it first? We just blew up You got watermelon water. seeds in your head, son. Yo. You couldn't get a prettier place to do this either than right here. Water's crystal clear. Got our boat, got our dog, my two chitlins, and we just blew up a watermelon with rubber bands. I'm the watermelon man. <laughs> <laughs> Let, me have Let me see if it'll fit me. Put it in my head. Did you fit it? <laughs> Push it down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> here, look. Here, look. Yay! I knew what to All right, hold on, hold still. Put your hands down. Put it right in the ah. top. Put it on the top of his head, just right. Yeah. Hold on, let look Jake do it. Put it right there. All right, hold on, look. Hold on. This is my new hat. Hold on, hold on. Well, it won't come off now. You got a hard hat. 
Look at the top of his head. <laughs> Bring it. I'm sure some people are going to wonder what in the world's wrong with us. All right, we got to test it. Wait, I'm going to go underwater. I'm going to snorkel with it. This is the last one. Looks like we got them all cleaned yeah, up. The so crazy that it blew them all the way over here oh, into wait, the tree. Wait, wait, wait. Get that bottle cap right there and throw that away. Here's one more. The little brown ones are the hard ones right to there. see. There's the brown one. Oh, yep. All right, I think that's all of them. Oh, here's one inside. Redneck, you found anything to hunt out there? Yeah. What would you... Luke, seriously? Are we still wearing a hat? What's the mine? Yeah, Did y'all have fun making this video? Yeah. What about shooting the fruit with the guns? That was also fun. Should we start doing more fun videos like this? Yeah, I think we should. Look at that, guys. That's three quarters of a five gallon bucket of rubber bands. If it gets to 10,000 subscribers, we'll do it again. What should the fans do right now? Like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, click the bell, notification bell. Oh. Luke, you're having too much fun with that. What? Oh, there's Snapper, Luke. See that Snapper? Why don't we fish a little bit? Before you want to catch a fish? Yeah. All right, let me rig up a rod. catch a mangrove snapper so we got a little piece of shrimp on and we're gonna cast it out right here what's on your head though a watermelon hat it's camouflage is that new style I'm gonna let it sit right here i think you probably already have a bite Renick, what are you doing you observing your brother what you got we got what in the heck? Swing him over here. What is that? Well, that's a neat looking fish. Little rasp. Look how pretty he is. You know what we need to do with him is put him in the fish tank. Look how beautiful that fish is. Oh, he's definitely going in the aquarium. It's your camo hat? All right, let me unhook you. That's a wrap, folks. That's a wrap. Make sure if you're new to the channel, you please leave a comment. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos. If you go back in my library, I've got catch, clean, and cooks. I've got vlog videos. I've got anything you can imagine. And recently, we've started doing fun videos like this with the boys. Just to add some more cool videos to our channel. Right now, though, we got to take the boat home, get it cleaned up, get showered so I can get to editing because tomorrow's a new day and a new video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the positive comments. But like my 12-year-old Jake says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See y'all.